Sounds by Alvin Schwartz. Sounds is a ghost story about a haunted house in Mobile, Alabama called the Madison Mansion. Three men who try to stay the night in the old place hear terrifying noises and see something that chills them to the bone. A long time ago, there was a house near Mobile, Alabama. It was known as the Madison Mansion and it had been vacant and empty for years. Most people in Mobile stayed away from it, frightened by its dreadful reputation. Anyone who passed by couldn't help wondering what evil had transpired in the old place. Trespassers who dared to enter the old house usually left during the night telling tales so grim that the people didn't believe them. One night, three fishermen were caught in a storm and managed to make their way back on land. Soaked from the rain, they spotted the mansion and decided to take shelter in the old place. Once inside, they made a fire in the fireplace to keep themselves warm and ate a cold supper. Then the three men pulled their warm coats around them and tried to get some sleep. However, soon as they fell asleep, they were haunted by terrible nightmares of murder. Lying awake, the men heard the unmistakable sound of footsteps upstairs. It sounded like more than one person marching back and forth. Who's there? called one of the fishermen. The footsteps suddenly stopped. They heard a woman scream. The scream turned into a groan and died away. The house was quiet again. Just then, the man who had called out felt something splash against his forehead. Something was dripping from the ceiling and forming a small red puddle on the floor. To their horror, the fishermen realized it was blood. All of a sudden, the fishermen gathered together and listened. After a few minutes, they heard something coming down the stairs. It sounded like someone dragging something heavy that bumped on each rotten step. Then the door slammed, shut, and again, there was silence. There was a thunderstorm outside and the house trembled as if it was about to collapse. Rain was pounding against the sagging walls. The, ter the terrified fishermen couldn't bear to stay in the place a moment longer and decided to leave. Just as they reached the door, a flash of lightning filled every room in the house. A crash of thunder defeated the terrified men, and they raid out into the storm, never to return. Nobody ever knew for sure what terrible actions had been done in that house. The mansion was built shortly after the American Revolution by an Englishman named Madison, who was a rich farmer. He lived there with his daughter, who was said to be mentally ill. Nobody ever saw her, and the servants were kept away from her. They never had any visitors and never went out. One day, without a word of warning, Madison suddenly left for England and wrote to his servants, instructing them to sell the house. The daughter was never found. She just disappeared. After that, the house changed hands many times, but nobody could ever say that stay there for long. 